What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to track your sleep on Android using Google Fit. This method places all your data in a sleep chart with detail so that you can analyze and improve your sleep health. Now this is part of a playlist called Life Improving Technology. Sleep and how you do it is important because it directly impacts other health metrics and safety. If you find you are having challenges in your daily life, tracking your sleep may be a remedy. Personally, my issue is a lack of sleep because I'm constantly stimulating my mind and working long hours. Now, a lot of people have this problem. We are looking at screens longer and later. Our minds are constantly stimulated by media in today's environment. Now, I've included links to the CDC as well as a sleep resource recommended by the CDC to help you improve your sleep health. As for me, I feel better now that I've been tracking my sleep for the past several days. Join me in the revolution of using technology to improve our lives. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are on my Google Pixel 4 XL. And first thing we have to do is look for the Google Fit app. Now I actually have a widget for the Google Fit app placed on my home screen here. And if I tap on that, that's going to open up the app. Now you may have to look for yours in the app tray, which you'd have to pull up from the bottom of the screen possibly, depending on your version of Android. And then you would look for Google Fit. It's actually called Fit in the app tray. Again, you can use this method to select the app just by tapping on it. Next, we're gonna scroll down to the sleep section. Once here, we're gonna tap on that title labeled sleep, and that's going to open more of the sleep section. Here you can view your bedtime routine and sleep duration in a chart. You can also view all this data by week, month, or year, just by tapping on each category. Scrolling down gives us more precise information about our sleep data. Now to add sleep data, simply tap on that plus icon in the top right hand corner. Here we can adjust date and time. So we're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna set my bedtime here to 2.20. And then we're gonna set our wake up time to 2.25, only because this is a test. And then we're gonna hit okay. And then in the top right hand corner, we're gonna have save. We're gonna tap on that. So you can see it's there, Saturday, October 3rd, 1420 to 1425. Now, if we scroll back up to the top, we should see that entry somewhere in the chart. And you may wanna change between bedtime routine and duration just to get different types of data. But if I go back to bedtime routine here, you can see we have that slight little sliver there. And actually, if we click on it, it gives us more precise details about that sliver so we know exactly what we're looking at and that it's the right data. So that is how you track your sleep on Android using Google Fit. So final thoughts. Getting the correct amount of sleep is vital for good health. It's important to remember we have the technology to record our personal metrics. I recently started recording my sleep data. This has allowed me to spot deficiencies and improve my sleep health. Recording my sleep data over the past few days has left me feeling more refreshed. I was also getting less sleep than I originally thought. This means that my sleep problem was actually worse than I imagined. The good thing is all my sleep data is here for me to analyze. This gives me more control over my sleep health and what to do about it. We can plan to sleep longer or schedule sleep when deficiencies are noticed. The important thing to remember is you don't need any new hardware to do this. All you need is your Android device with the Google Fit app installed. Now this isn't a passive method. This means you'll have to be proactive with recording your sleep data. But if you stay dedicated, this method can improve your sleep health. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way you can support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support the channel is just by clicking that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see lots of likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.